Hey guys, welcome to my video this morning. Happy Friday. I'm working on a 50 page sketchbook here to add to my big book. I just finished a 40 page one. Anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in and watching. This morning I'm feeling some shovel inspiration, some shovel head. So I'm gonna uh, work up a little sketch here of, uh, of my interpretation of a shovel head. So uh, again, I'm, I'm uh, starting out with a lighter orange Prismacolor and uh, just going in real light. So hopefully you'll be able to see my lighter sketches, but I will be building the drawing as I go. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna be uh, putting in the basic shapes of what I'm doing here. Real light, you probably won't be able to see these. And I'm just gonna kinda put a big velocity stack coming out. This, this particular one's gonna be a slab side. Now we're gonna do some fun little short wicked pipes with some fire. Do the push rods, covers, and the, the blocks. And then uh, kind of get down into the uh, cam cover a little bit. And then I'm gonna uh, drop in a banner down here. Banners are always fun, they add a whole, they're kind of a great way for me to cap off a drawing. Banners, banners are the best. You can do everything with a banner. They can go every which way. And then up top here, I'm gonna do uh, probably a little script, just because I'm kind of limited on space. So, I don't know if you can see it, real light sketch. So I've got an idea where, draw, where, where things are gonna be. Um, Drop in some lettering in the banner. So I, I kind of got everything where it's gonna be. I'm gonna bring this pipe. It's gonna be a little bit longer and come out right by the cam cover, on top of the cam cover. And then this one's gonna, it's gonna, the fire coming out, it's gonna hook up with the other one. All right, so everything's where it's gonna be. So I'm probably just gonna start up here at the top and uh, heavy things up a little bit. Again, I personally like all my sketches to be some sort of a distorted perspective of how I see things. velocity stack here. I'm just apply applying more pressure now that I know where things are gonna be, 
where I want them. And again, this is just, you know, this is a sketch for the book. You're gonna have lines, without erasing, you're gonna have lines show up, lighter lines show up where you don't want lines, but it's just, you know, it's a sketch. Again, if you're going to transfer this to a tank or a helmet or a fender or whatever, if you're gonna scan it and do t-shirt art, you know, those things aren't, those little old, those little light lines aren't gonna affect anything. So as I'm going along, I'm incorporating some shading also. Darks to lights, contrast, like I talked about the other day. Chrome effects, those are really fun. And I go up here to the lettering. Kind of a script with some serifs on the end of it. Maybe some dark to light shading. When, when I do script, I always go from thick to thin. Makes for a better look, in my opinion. But you can do whatever you want. It's art, you know? Give, when the letters are connected, it gives, I give a little f thickness to the area where the letters connect. Thick to thin, some shading in it. I'm gonna go probably you kind of want to work with the things that are on top, so I'm going to come down here and drop in the, the flames coming out of the pipes because they're somewhat in the foreground. down here and tighten up the banner. Put in a few cracks in the banner just to show that it's weathered a bit. And as I mentioned the other day, my Prismacolor is getting a little dull, so this is a perfect time to, to use it for shading because it's more of a flat surface as opposed to a pointy, pointed surface for detail. And I can go in and get some really nice soft blends, dark to light, contrast. Throw a bit of shadow in here where the banner's overlapping itself. I'm gonna tighten up or sharpen up the pencil just a little bit, nothing major, so I can come back up here and do some detail. Put 
put the uh, jug, the head fins in here and then the jug fins. The thing about a sharper tip on your pencil is you can't put a lot of pressure on it because it'll, uh, it'll break on you. detail in the cam cover. Throw in some detail into the heads. You can start shading as you're putting in the, the finer details of the lines and stuff. So for me, it's all about perspective. I like to draw things at a different perspective than what maybe they're, they're normally seeing. That's just more fun for me, I guess. Drop in some details in the head here. Put the, some bolts in the jug base. And down here on the cam cover. Put in some bolt holes. Putting in some chrome effect, that's always fun. basically a reflection of the landscape. Lighting, shading. As I mentioned yesterday, I like to make my light source come from the top left corner. So, you know, there's gonna be in the top left, there's, there'll be lighter areas. In the bottom right, there'll be shadowed areas. But you can make your light source come from any direction. It doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. Cool part about like adding contrast is like just shading this little area right here. You can see where the shading is going to make the top edge of the velocity stack pop off. So kind of cool. Everything kind of works in d dual purposes, you know, creates an effect for one part while adding an effect for another part. case here. More fins off the jug. Just subtle details to get the, you know, the point across that this is a motor. I'm going to uh, throw some more detail over here to finish up the heads 
and the jugs and stuff here. And then a uh, little bit of the engine case back here. I'm just gonna do a lighter shading in here to indicate the cases. Sharpen my pencil. I'm gonna throw some chrome effect into the uh, into the uh, exhaust. Lighting and shadowing, contrast, makes everything come together. I like adding little, just little subtle dots and spots to my drawings it's just kind of fun down here where the on the points or the cam cover I add just a little bit of a tone to the cam cover to give it a texture but then it also adds nice contrast to the to the fire coming out of the uh, front uh, front pipe Add some detail into here, into the, the fire coming out of the rear jug. Just real light lines, just adds some texture. Again, the shading, it adds a little bit of texture for the flame and then it also adds contrast for the top of the banner. Drop in some lettering in the banner. little spots, some textures, maybe a little bit of shading on this part. And then uh, take a little bit sharper one and uh, finish it off with a signature. Always remember to sign your art. All right, guys. Shovel for life. Thanks for uh, watching me draw this. I appreciate you guys following McKegart on Instagram. Be sure to check out McKegart on YouTube and subscribe if you'd like to. Leave some comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Be safe.